welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be back trying new snacks from around the world. And today we will be trying Australian snacks. I'm so excited. So due to the really, really positive feedback that we got from our American candy and sweets haul, what I'll put here, me and mum couldn't wait to do another one. So we asked you guys what country you would like us to try next. And the majority of you said Australian. So thank you so much. And that is today's video. I unfortunately haven't been to Australia yet. It is definitely on the bucket list, but I would love to go. But for those of you who have, let me know what your favourite chocolate, sweets and snacks were from Australia and comment in below. Or oh, if you're from Australia, hello and thank you so much for clicking on my video. So I've been planning this video for a little while now and I decided to get all today's haul from Molly's Sweet Shop and I will put their link in the comments box below. And it arrived today. Shall we open it? So this is the box. Okay, this looks awesome and I can't wait to get started and trying them. There is all sorts in here. There is drinks, there is chocolate, there is sweets. So what we're gonna do is gonna wait until my mum is ready and then we're gonna change this scene, get ourselves changed into something more Australian themed and yeah. So let's get trying some Australian snacks. Quick costume change. And here we are, we are in Australia. Dun, Australia! Dun, dun, dun. Australia! Dun, dun. <laughs> Technically not, we're at home, but we're in Australia. Good day. Good day. Good folks. day. Good so, day. As you can see, my mum has joined me for this feast. I'm <laughs> starving, mate. Just, just crack open the box. Good today, day. we're going to try some Australian sweets. Oh, that's, that's I, nice. I know that's quite good, actually. Yeah. I'm no Jodie Comer when it comes to accents, but <laughs> I like to give it my best shot. <laughs> Good eye, good eye, good eye. Right. And by the way, just a little disclaimer again from our previous video. It's just purely what me and my mum think. You could again try the chocolate when you go to Australia or if you go to Molly's and you order your sweets, you might think completely different to us. You might love a product when we might not and vice versa. So it's literally just what we think. A bit brightening. <laughs> We, she joined me before on the American video and we just really, really enjoyed it. So we thought, let's keep this going. And we're gonna get started. So I just lost some... my cushion. <laughs> we're gonna get started on some Australian snacks. Are we ready? Yay. So what would you like to try first? A little swig, can we have a drink? A drink. Is right. that beer though, in that, that brown bottle? Shall we try this first? Yeah. So it's not beer, oh. it's Solo Original Lemon. So really, Solo means you've got to drink it on your own. <laughs> so I'll have, I'll have that one. <laughs> and end. because we're meant to be in Australia, we've got these lovely little gin glasses. So we're going to have a little, pour a little bit in each. You're going to do the honours. I hope you've not... Oh, all of our drinks have been in the fridge because in my last video, everyone was like, the drinks will be better cold. So I'm hoping it's the same with Australian drinks. I really am. <laughs> it's not like alcohol, is it? It's just, it's just okay. busy, busy doofery. There you go. So, chin chin. Chin chin, cheers. So, yeah, the, the packaging looks like this. Looks lovely. Are you ready? Oh, it smells good. It's really, um, it's tangy. Ooh. Isn't it really tangy? But it's not. Nice. No. I'm going to have another one. Oh, it's, it's really nice. Mm. Really refreshing. I love the tang. And it reminds me a bit like Clouds Lemonade. If you're like, on a summer's day, you want a fruity drink, this is it. Oh, so nice. It says Tanqueray on the glass. Mmm. <laughs> I could drink that. I could drink yeah, that all day. Yeah, it's really nice. I like this. So we're going to do the rating system that we did in our previous video. So we're going to rate it from one star being the worst to five stars being the best. And I rate this five stars. Mm, so yeah, good. Nice. Lovely. Lovely. Life savers. Do we try these? <laughs> it's a lifesaver. Lifesaver, so... Oh, wait. I know. When you're swimming, you get one of them chucked at you to <laughs> save your life. <laughs> so it says fruit fruit tingles. Right, so... Oh, they're like this. Thank God for it. Save so they're, my life. They're, they're chalky in texture. They're really fizzy. Mmm. Mm. Very nice. I give it... They're a bit more substantial to our version of them. Mm. I give it... 
Four stars. Mm. I've nice. got with four. Really nice. Yeah, nice, very nice. Let's try something I've always wanted to try, Tam Tam Fingers. I can't wait, I'm really excited. Oh, we get one each, we get a finger each. How big, how big are they? Whoa. There's yours. That's me dinner sorted. <laughs> <laughs> so, go like that. Mm. It's like, um, actually that is quite nice. It's like our version of a penguin, um, but longer. Question, do you keep chocolate in the fridge? Mom, do you? Yeah. Definitely. So do I. A lot of people who I speak to are like, no, no, chocolate belongs in the cupboard. No. These have been in the fridge. Yeah, nice. It tastes really fridge. good. Mm. Mm. Five star. Yeah, I, I give it five, mate. Mm. They were nice. So, what do you think about our outfits? I think we've made quite the <laughs> effort today. <laughs> look at mum's hoops and look at her. Look at I her look sunglasses. Like 80s, don't I? <laughs> We were like, we need to make an effort for this video, so what can we wear? So I brought out the hula hula Oops. necklace. You've got the dungarees on. I've got this flamboyant shirt. I'm ready to go on holiday, are you? Yeah. Should we get our passports? <laughs> we might as well bring Australia to our home. <laughs> so, shall we try something else? Yeah. This little thing here. So it's called a Milko. Milko? It's from Allen's. If any... any... Allen! <laughs> <laughs> Thank Alan. God to get him in there. Alan! <laughs> keep... Alan! 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 Al! Alan! So, it's from Alan's. So if... Um... Alan! <laughs> it, you know what? We're going to have him popping up in a minute. Alan! <laughs> I assume it's milk flavoured, but who knows? I did see online that Alan's does... Um, Alan! Um... <laughs> Alan's does... Do... Alan! <laughs> Alan's does do a large oh, variety of sweets like this, so oh, I did choose. It warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> I did choose a few things from his collection, so we'll just try this first, and then uh, we'll see. We'll see if we like Alan's products. Alan, Alan. that you can see it, but yeah, it's like a chip. Cheers. Cheers. It's okay. Give it a two. I'm still chewing it. I chewed it. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. We'd like another drink. Yeah. So we've got two more drinks to try. We have, it's pear and elderflower. Ooh. Sparkling soda. I love elderflower things. So I'm pear. Yeah, pear and elderflower. Ooh. Looks like this. Cheers. Chin chin. Um, I'm gonna try, try again. I can taste the pear more than the elderflower. You know, like pear tizer. It to me, it tastes like that, but it smells like elderflower, which is confusing. I give that a three stars. So another thing that I would really like to try is the violet crumble. So it's quite a big bar. Violet Whoa. crumble. Well, it says Australia's violet crumble is gluten free, and it says it's the way it shatters that matters. It looks like. Crunchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a, in the UK, we have a popular chocolate bar called Crunchy and it does remind us of that. Oh, wow. That looks so, looks like this. So it does look like a Crunchy as well. Chocolate's nice. That looks like that's mine then. I'm not sure, I'm not, I don't Do you not like mean. Crunchy? Why is it called Violet? And is it? Maybe we're going to turn purple when we've eaten it. <laughs> At Charlie the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Violet's turning violet. I'm gonna give that a two. Uh, it's called Pinky. Marshmallow and caramel covered in milk chocolate. Nice, well it's very it's soft. Pinky. The chocolate bar looks like that. And as you can see, you can see the pink marshmallow peeping through, so. Ooh. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Look how so pink yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really pink inside. But so many numbers have gone into that. Mm. Not oh. like it. I give it a two. It's okay, but. It doesn't really hold much flavour, It's okay, does it? but I will want another one. Mm. It is a lot of chocolate here. Now, I, I've seen this again as a popular, I might be wrong, but as a popular Australian chocolate bar. So yeah, it looks like this. It's called Cherry Ripe. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Is there anything on it? It says, ripe, juicy cherries and coconut in old gold, rich, dark chocolate. That's what it looks like. It smells lovely. It smells mm. really lush. So that's what's inside. <laughs> This is a combination of having a Turkish delight 
And a bounty. And a bounty. Yeah. I agree. That's what it tastes like to me. That's nice. I like that. Mm. I give it a four. Lovely. Is Australia on your on your bucket list? Would you like to go one day? Yeah, because got a family over there. It's all the travelling, I think. Mind you, I mean, how so? How long to, is I've it? I've been to America, so yeah, all travelling. Is yeah. it twenty four hours? It'd be a long time. I absolutely love it. Love uh, it. Love, love it. it. Vibes. <laughs> See, when I saw this, I initially thought, oh, it's licorice. Oh no, because. I don't really like licorice at all. It's dark chocolate covered in chewy caramel, so it's dark chocolate again. I can't break that it. It looks like you bite it, mate. I can't break it, I look. I don't mind you biting it. Oh, oh. I can't. Oh, this looks like that inside. Cheers. Cheers, my dears. Cheers, my dears. For me, it is quite rich and quite strong. Really fulfilling snack. I'm gonna give that a two. Let's try a peppermint mm. crisp. So the packaging is like that. This says peppermint cracknel covered in milk chocolate. Ooh. It was at oh. this moment that he knew he fucked up. So it's just showered all over me and it looks like this inside. Oh no. It's a bit, um, it's like me eating glass. Okay. I've never eaten glass myself. So no, neither do I. <laughs> But it is very minty. I give it a one. It's when you bite into it, you don't expect mm. it to shower in your mouth. So this is a passion fruit flavoured drink. But yeah, let's let us try it. Ooh, that was nice. That's a nice sound. Very pleasing sound, isn't it? Okay, let's smell it. Oh, I'm just still trying to make room I'm, for it. I'm gonna like this. I'm a big cocktail drinker, and this this definitely smells like a. She just burped off camera. Oh. <laughs> so, no, really gassy. <laughs> It smells like a passion fruit martini, which I absolutely love. Oh, it's Real fruity. Fizzy. I can imagine this on a really hot summer's day, filled with ice, really lovely like extravagant straw, vodka maybe, an umbrella. This is a bit of me. <laughs> I give it a five, I really do. So out of the drinks that we tried, which ones do you prefer? I preferred the other one, the, the first one. Yeah. I think I did. So out of all the drinks, this one, was definitely our fave. Ooh. Let's try. It looks like Freddo. It is a Freddo. So this is Freddo, but strawberry. So over in the UK, we have regular Freddos that are just pure chocolate, which are divine. But these are, when I saw these, I thought I've got to get one. Here is little Freddy the frog. Do you want his head or do you want his legs? I love his head. Okay. <laughs> so inside, he looks like this. Smells beautiful. Smells really nice. Very pink inside. Mm, really nice. I give it a four. What should we try now? Before we talked about Alan. <laughs> Alan! So Alan's now got, it's called Redskins. Mm. Like this. It's like a bit like a chew it, a long chew it. A few moments later. Few moments later. Voila. This is it. Oh God, look at it, Mike. What have you done to it? Eee. Your hands all over that one. Making a slippy. <laughs> mm, bit waxy. Yeah, I like the flavour. Let's give it a three. Let's show them right here. No, no. Our next is. thing is called a Zappo. So like this. Seven sour grape flavoured chews. So sour grape. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's got little tiny grapes on, which is rather cute. And this is what it looks like when it's unwrapped. Ooh. Look like, oh, it definitely looks like a starburst of some sort. Mmm. Actually, that is, that is really nice. Probably got proper punch to it. You hear my jaw clicking. <laughs> Will the sour just hit us? Mm. Got a jaw ache. The more tart it becomes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are getting there now, folk. This is, is as well. Fabulicious sherbet fizz. <laughs> so it looks a bit like that. Okay, so let's have a look. It looks like this. So in our previous video, this reminds me of the American cow tail. Do you remember? Yes. It does, yeah. doesn't it? But let's see what it's to say about the flavour. Um... Well, you can make it, you can make it in all sorts, mate. Oh. <laughs> look, look at that, look, look. An F, but I see you. We've got to eat this now, mate, so yes. let's just take a bite. Go. On. I love the look at mum's face, that's why I know if I like it or not. Don't like that, man. I was being far too greedy and took quite a big bite. Not really nice. <laughs> They'd probably love it. Oh, no, no, no. That is quite tart. Give it a one. Let's try 
So this is Cadbury's Original Chocolate Fish. Chocolate covered marshmallow fish. Chocolate Can't fish. wait. Oh, oh my god. It's an actual fish. fish. Look at that. I'm quite impressed because it's a fish. Um, or the tail or the head? If I must. It's pink again. So is that like a mallow? <laughs> exactly. Look how bright that is. Nah. Give it a two. Two more things. So we've got this. And look at the little koala on it, it's so cute. Caramello koala. Please be a koala. Yay! Oh god, it is as well. Oh, well, that's, so, that's cute. How adorable is it? What should we call him? Should we call him <coughs> Frank? Right, do you want his head? Off with his head. Off with his head! Don't lose your head. Mm -hmm. Right. Should we have mm. with chocolate? Five star. Mm. So, our very last thing that we're going to try from our Australian haul. And this is called? It's called a Morrow Bar. Now, I'm asking you now, right, what do you think this looks like? As soon as I saw it, automatically I think of a... Snickers? Snickers or a marathon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what, that's what that looks like to but, me. And I'm sure you would have thought that mm -hmm. as you saw it. I won't see you today, I'll see you tomorrow. I've got high expectations here. So... It's rather nice. I like that. I'll give it a three. That concludes trying Australian snacks. So, mums, yes, what was yes, the babes. what was the best thing that you liked out of everything? And what's your favourite out of the stuff that we tried? What is your favourite? Quite like that as well. That violet violet crumble. Mm. Okay, I would say my favourite or favourite was the Solo Original Lemon Drink, and I really liked the the Tam Tams. That was beautiful and i really liked the lifesavers they were really oh, good yeah. Come, come on, yeah yeah of course the lifesavers are really really nice i'll oh, have another one but yeah they're my favorites jason, what do you think jason and kylie <laughs> what do you think of my australian accent I, I watched a lot of married at first sight australia i was always going like bronson bronson because that was one of the main characters i wish now i'd watched more of oh neighbors oh neighbors oh it's home and away home and away or both home Is it and fun? away did I? Yeah, it's probably both of them, wasn't it? <laughs> I wish I'd listened to them more now. So comment down below what you would like us to try next. But no, thank you so, so much. And remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so, so much. And have a lovely, lovely Sunday. Bye. Bye.